So you know the classic snake game where you're constantly moving and all you can do is change the direction of the snake and try to eat the fruit which makes you longer and longer? Well, I coded that, but way better into Minecraft. As you can see, I actually have coded Snake into Minecraft, and I'm playing it right now on my server, play.comangate.com, where any of you guys can also come and play this for yourself. Now, of course, this is based on the original Snake game, so the snake is always moving in one direction, and you can turn it to the sides, and you don't want to bump into the walls or into your tail. However, this thing actually has a lot more features, like being able to set up multiple games and even play multiplayer with your friends and have tournaments. So there really is a lot of awesome things that you can do and all of this is set up on my server again the ip will be down in the description play.commandgeek.com so any of you guys can come to my server and play snake by yourself or with other people if you want to be in a tournament. But first, I have an extremely important announcement. I am officially launching my merch. This is a limited edition cookie blaster design, which I designed myself, by the way. I I'm really proud of it. And you can get it in any size or color you want, in both a hoodie or a t-shirt. It feels absolutely amazing, and I can guarantee you, as soon as you put it on, you'll become the coolest person on Earth. For legal reasons, that's a joke. And it will only be available for a few weeks. So go to commandgeek.com slash shop and hurry to get yours while you can. Because when they are gone, they are gone forever. Link will also be down in the description. So go right now and get yourself a cookie blaster hoodie. Because they are just amazing. Just go get one right now. Now, just like in the original snake game, I can try to eat all the food here. And if I bump into the walls or my tail, I will die. So I'm going to quickly do that to demonstrate. So if I just bumped into my tail and it shows my score, which was seven and my high score, which in this case is 236. Now, when you join my server, you'll see that everything is set up and ready to be played. There's nothing you need to do. The boards are here. The snakes are here. And you can just simply walk up to one of the snakes and sneak on it to begin playing a game. However, if this video gets 5,000 likes, I will be releasing the data pack for all of you to download in the description down below. So if you want to put this on your own world and play with your friends, then make sure you smash that like button. And also, if you enjoyed the video, consider subscribing. It really helps out the channel and it shows your support for what I do. And you'll get notified when I upload a new video or data pack. And when you put the data pack on your server, you can easily craft up the board as well as all the snakes using these items right here in my inventory. To craft up the board, just put a 3x3 grid of lime terracotta and in return, you will get the snake board. Now put this anywhere in an open space for example here I already have a space set up for the snake game and I'll put it somewhere roughly in the center and now the board is completely set up for you to put snakes on the snakes can be crafted up in these four colors just by putting six of that colored wool like so and one concrete at the end like this and you can see I got a green snake and if I do the same with the red wool just like so I'll get the red snake same with the yellow snake and blue snake anywhere on this field I can place any of these color snakes it really doesn't matter these just change the color it does not change the game itself so I'll put a nice green snake right here on the board. And as long as you only have one snake on the board, you can sneak on it and it will be considered a single player game as it says there on the screen. And I can play this completely by myself and it will just calculate my score based on how long my snake is. But if you put two or more snakes on the field, then it will be considered a multiplayer game and you can still sneak on them, but you have to wait until the other snakes are occupied for the game to start. Now, once you're playing the game, it's very simple. It will give you a countdown and then it starts moving on its own. And to turn the snake, you simply use your scroll wheel. Just scroll in the direction you want to turn. So I can scroll up to turn left and scroll down to turn right. And I can keep doing this as much as I want to turn the direction of the snake. Now the goal of course of snake is not just to stay alive, but to actually get longer and longer. And you can do so by eating the food that you see on the field. There are four different colors of food, all that give you different amounts of points. The red ones only give you one point. The yellow ones give you three points. The purple ones give you five points and the blue ones give you the most, which is 10 points. So you really wanna try and get those blue ones. Now, as time goes on and you get longer and longer, you actually will speed up. So the snake will constantly get harder to control. And of course, since your tail is longer, there'll be more stuff to avoid. So it definitely gets quite challenging after a while. At all times during the game, you can see your score right above your hot bar so right now mine is 96 and if I eat this blue fruit right here now it's 106 so you want to try and get that score as high as possible before you die well now that I've died my final score was 107 and my high score was 236 and off to the side of the boards here you can see the top score so my top score currently is 236 and I'm the top of the whole server so if you want to see if you can try and beat my score well then join Geekland and see if you can beat 
that score right there. If you can beat it, then your name will be at the top instead of mine. I'd love to see how far you guys can get. Now on the other side, there's actually another leaderboard, which is not for the longest snake, but for the number of wins in a multiplayer game. Which brings us over to multiplayer games. Now, like I said in the beginning, you can make any game a multiplayer game just by putting more snakes on the board. You can see that this one has a yellow snake, a green snake, a red snake, and a blue snake, and I've got three other players to help me test this out. You can put as many snakes as you want on a field, and they don't have to be different colors. They can be all green if you want, and there's really no limit to how many you can put. So in this case, we have four. Now we have Space Bro over there, Galaxy Mation, and Smoogie Blockman over there, and all three of these are going to help me play the game. Once all four have selected a team, it actually starts and we're all in random locations. So I am the yellow snake, so I'm gonna make sure that I control the yellow snake and don't die. Now the green snake has actually already died, so they are eliminated, and only the three of us remaining are still playing the game. If I die, I get eliminated, and the remaining people will still compete to be the last one, and the last one alive obviously wins. We can still eat the food and try to get longer and faster to try and cut off our opponents, but we just wanna make sure that we are the last one alive. So now the blue snake just died, so it's just me and the red snake left, and I have to make sure that I don't die before he dies. So he just died, and you can see that I now won this game, and in chat, it actually says Command Geek won a multiplayer game. So I'm gonna say GG. So it really makes it really fun because you wanna try and battle off against your friends to see who won. Now we're gonna do this one more time. This time I'm gonna be the blue snake, so I'll sneak on this one, and the other three will choose their own snake. So as soon as I shift, it will actually start the game. I am the blue snake, so I gotta make sure to control that one. I don't wanna bump into anyone, so I've gotta be really careful. So the red snake just died, and the yellow snake, so I'm just left with the green snake. Don't wanna die before they do. However, even though the other snakes are dead, you can still bump into them and die. So you still have to maneuver around the dead bodies of the snake. All right, I'm just gonna try and get some food here to become as long as possible because in the end, if I'm really, oh, never mind, I just won. And you can see that Command Geek won a multiplayer game. GG. And now for the most epic snake battle of all time, I have a very special guest, the one and only Command Freak. With, with a giant fish. So Freak, when you're ready, we can select our snakes and begin the battle. Here goes, Snake Multiplayer versus Command Freak. So I'm the green snake, I gotta make sure to control that one. Now, I wouldn't consider myself a snake professional, so I don't really know what I'm doing here in terms of strategy, but I'm just going to, uh, just gonna try and get in his way a bit. Oh no, I lost. Well, GG Freak. I guess, I guess you are the snake champion. So there you have it guys, working snake in Minecraft. Also, if you support me on Patreon, you will be VIP on my server, which you get access to a lot of awesome stuff, and you'll get early access to all of my data packs before anyone else gets their hands on them. Come join the server, see if you can beat my record and try to become number one on the whole server. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next video.